Okay, so this is part two of making the coconut date bars with gluten-free oats. This would be the chocolate layer. So what I did was I took um, a double boiler. So what a double boiler looks like is just this pot, that's a pot, over this pot. This is the pot that has the water. This is the pot part that has the chocolate. And while it's boiling, all the steam rises up and melts the chocolate. Rather than microwaving it and getting it a little clumpy, this is a very smooth way of melting the chocolate. It's a little extra labor, but it's really the traditional way to melt chocolate. So I left it on low at the moment. It was on medium high while we melted the chocolate. I melted about two and a half bars of chocolate and I used the Hugh Kitchen dark chocolate bar and the I believe it's called Vita Organics, Vita Coconut Organics, something like that. Used both are sweetened with coconut sugar, and that is it. So here we go. Here is the lollipop. It was frozen for a couple of hours, and we're gonna dip it in like this. See? We're gonna let that go like that. Kind of get all the ch excess chocolate off. Now you're always gonna have some kind of mark when you put it back on the wax paper. It's never gonna be this like even, you know, like you see in the stores. You're always gonna have that extra, extra part. There we go. Now I gave these out when I made these last week and my hairstylist was dying. She thought they were so good. And when I tasted the inside with the chocolate, it honestly tasted like butter. But it's not made with any dairy. It's just coconut. I think the coconut combination with the oats and the dates tastes like really heavenly. So there we go. We have that one. See? And then we're going to put it right there. And eventually these will go back in the freezer to harden. We're going to go with this one again. Actually, now that you've seen that, let's do a chocolate square. So we're going to take spoonfuls of this like that you want to be careful because this is hot and then we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna like even it out you can do a thin layer or a thick layer of chocolate depending on your preference okay this is a little hard for me while I'm holding the video uh, the iPhone but I'm gonna get that. I just wanna like make sure. Other ways that to do this is just to, you know, pour it, like tilt it, make sure the chocolate is getting evenly everywhere. And then in the areas where there are open pockets, like over here, we would just take some more chocolate. Okay. And then we're gonna put it there, like physically, with our sp spoon. Like that. And that's pretty much it. And again, you want to shake it, get it a little even, okay? And then we put it here. And then eventually, all of these will be covered in chocolate, and they go into the freezer for a little while, not too long, maybe half an hour, and they set. And then you just keep them in the freezer until you want to serve them. Understand that these are raw and not cooked, so if they're out of the freezer for too long, they will melt and get a little mushy on the inside, but I gave some mushy ones to a friend yesterday and she thought they were like amazing, even mushy, but they are a frozen treat. So keep them in the freezer and serve when you're ready. Okay, bye.